Welcome back to Business Leader of the Week right here on Daba TV. And I said I had here with me someone who has used WhatsApp to build a multi-millionaire advertising agency. Uh, who is Victor? Let's meet Victor. Okay. Um, my name is Victor Indero. Uh, I'm from Mondo State. I'm the director of the Port TV Media. The Port TV Media is like an advertising agency. And we are actually quite unique because we are using WhatsApp to uh, offer advertising solutions to all our clients. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Yes. So tell us about Port TV. How did you come about the name Port TV? Okay. Um, actually, it was in 2016 when we started out. We started out initially as African Cooking Port. So over time, what happened was, we not started thinking about it, okay, African cooking pot, and the idea then was we wanted to help, uh, wanted to like do something different, and then we are targeting like the African community. Mm. So we, we now said, okay, African cooking pot. In fact, it was one of our uh, staff then, one, the person that was with me then, that said, okay, why don't you try African cooking pot? So over time, when we now like sat down, we thought about this, everything, like, African cooking pot is long ago. <laughs> Let's try something that will be easy for people to remember. And yeah. So we started brainstorming and said, okay, pot, okay, maybe, okay, pot TV. And then that was how the pot TV name came about. So we said, okay, pot TV is still short and we can target as much people as we want. And then it's going to stick. So we said, okay, let's go by pot TV. So that was how the name pot TV came about. Interesting. So yeah. how long has, how long has pot TV existed? Pot TV has, for almost six years now, we've been, in, we've been actively working for almost six years now. Interesting. Yes. Five years ago, a lot of people did not know about WhatsApp TV. Yeah. And how did you come up with this idea to use WhatsApp TV? And okay, actually, um, it did not start out as WhatsApp TV mm. because then what uh, we were trying to do then was try to be different from because then around that 2016 2015 time, that was when news blogs started getting popular on Instagram. Mm. It wasn't even the Linda Ikeji era now. It was mm. after Interesting. Like, Linda Ikeji era when this is what this was when Insta blog just started picking up mm. then. Mm. So we had so many blogs on Instagram mm. then. So we too we said okay we wanted to do something like that. Mm. But then I sat down and I said okay let's try something different. Let's see. So we started looking at platforms. So I now sat down and I said okay what of if we do something like that on WhatsApp? Mm. But okay, WhatsApp is different. How do we do it? How do we? I said, okay, we can save numbers. Okay, by saving numbers, it means that if I save your number, it's possible that you will view my status mm. and everything. So that was how we started from zero contact. We started building it, mm. building it. So that started a trend that is what everybody knows now as WhatsApp TV. So people now started seeing what we are doing and said, okay. This thing is actually can work. This guy mm. is doing it. So mm. Let us also do so. It's the the uh, what we like call it? the adoption just started from everybody started opening up, mm. and that was what we now know as WhatsApp. So it's, I always tell people basically that before Port TV started, there was actually nobody mm. that was doing it. So after we started, that was when people say, okay, this thing is possible. Yes, and then the adoption started. Because as usual, when a business idea becomes successful. People would like to duplicate the same yes, idea, yes, and that yes, shows yes. how successful yes. that business is. Yes. But did you see the future of WhatsApp from the onset? Mm, actually, no. Nobody saw the future. Interesting. Because I mean, you are doing something new. Mm. There was no, there was, there was no blueprint anywhere. There was so no roadmap. Nobody. <laughs> you cannot even, you can't even predict where we're going to go. Oh, we're just doing that. We're just doing something different, mm. and we're hoping that okay, this thing that we're doing different will work. We we'll work. We we'll get so. That and was so, actually the goal then. What's the major problem that Pod TV solves? When we started out, we we had this. Uh, we didn't start out as an advertising agency. Actually, mm. we had this. Um, where because of the way WhatsApp is, mm. because of the way this as this intimate uh, people feel, there's this bond. Yes. So what we are doing then, we are solving was like a people platform. Then mm. we're just giving entertainment to their. It felt like we're bringing that entertainment to them. To them directly. So they didn't to have to go out. Yes. Yeah. They didn't have to go to Instagram. They didn't have to go to Twitter. It was they were getting it. So it, it felt really close. So what we are doing then, we're just solving that entertainment need, mm. dropping news. We're also doing news also. So there was we're we're posting it faster. Mm. And every so people did not need to go out there. So it was later on we now quietly evolved into that advertising agency Agents. business right now. I work about that. Yes. So I have Port TV on my contact list and I see yes. your content. So I noticed that 
you mostly report Twitter content. Yes. So how did the temporal, because I know you're by Niger, how did the temporal Twitter ban affect your business? And actually, um, it affected us in a positive way, actually. Okay. Because when Twitter ban came about and everything, at that particular point, the reach of Twitter influencers in Nigeria was actually like limited. Mm -hmm. So at that particular time, brands and businesses were trying to look at other platforms, mm. Instagram and then WhatsApp. And because we were like at the forefront Position of WhatsApp already. advertising, we were having high influx of people coming in trying to use us as alternative source of traffic mm. and everything. So mm. to an extent, it did not really affect us much. All about, apart from the whole B, uh, VPN mm. thing and everything, but we always, we just always find our way around. So, what it. you're saying is that even in the absence of, do you think in the absence of a social media like Twitter, that Port TV will still survive? Definitely, definitely. We, before we even started uh, using Twitter memes and everything, using Twitter content and everything, we have been doing uh, this kind of, we had so many sessions that we do for Port TV then. Uh, people that have been with us from day one knew, they can remember that we used to do confession night, mm. we used to do relationship 101, mm. we used to do this random talk shows and everything on WhatsApp. So we actually had a template. Mm. But what happened then was that when we now started like growing because of the engagement, and the funny thing about it is WhatsApp engagement is quite unique. Yes. In the sense that it is people can bombard you you can have zero charts now. By the time you start talking to your audience, you have as much as 5,000 charts True. open True. and you have to reply. So it was too much for one person because it started out as a one-man business. Mm. So what we now started trying to do was that, okay, we now started, okay, what can we do to maintain that engagement mm. and still find a way to still keep them coming back and mm. everything. So what we now did is we started experimenting, trying out content, trying out news, mm. tried out um, Twitter content. Then we mm. now saw that people just loved the our curated the unpicked mm. um content we are putting from twitter so we kept with that and we saw that the engagement did not go down it also mm. increased mm. so at that particular point we now said okay we have found a it way was, of yeah. just let's just stick to this and they will now know how to build because we are growing and with the growth came different issues uh, from whatsapp itself because whatsapp is originally a messenger platform yes so if you are coming with this this commercializing thing, you will meet unexpected um, issues that mm. you have to work around and there was no we cannot you can't google search how to solve some of these issues true. so it's just true we just have to sit down even some people is to us is what we have done what we have uh, implemented that they also implement for their own business mm. and then they now so that was what happened basically about that interesting yeah. We will go on a short break, and when we are back, uh, we will talk more on the business side of Port TV. I'm sure you guys want to hear how they make their millions. We'll be right back. Let's go on this short break. The world is changing. It is becoming more digital, and so is the future of our money. At Crypto Life Capital, we are helping you grow wealth by investing in digital currencies because we believe that digital currencies break down barters and change the world economy. We have a team of experienced traders who are dedicated to helping your investment grow. We make investment easy and stress-free for you. Crypto Life Capital is Africa's first crypto asset portfolio investment and management platform committed to helping investors individuals and institutions gain passive income and build long-term wealth through the crypto market. We provide exposure to price movements of a diversified mix of crypto assets, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and large and small cap innovative digital projects. Do you want to build wealth in crypto? Then invest in Crypto Life Capital today. It's time to go crypto live. Welcome back to Business Leader of the Week. I've been having an awesome chat with Victor, the director and the CEO of uh, Port TV, uh, a multi-millionaire advertising agency that started on WhatsApp and has used WhatsApp to change the face of advertising in this, uh, uh, on the internet. So uh, let's, I want to hear from Victor again. Uh, Victor, it's been an awesome time chatting with you and I'm sure the audience have been learning. 
please do leave your comment. Uh, put up a comment there. Let us know what you've been learning so far. Okay. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to also share this video so that someone can know that they can use their WhatsApp. Okay. To to do something amazing. Uh, let's talk about the business side of Pod TV. Okay. How did you grow from being a one man agency, a one man business? Sorry. Yeah that seeks to entertain people to running a profitable advertising agency. How did you transition from that one-man business, okay? Next thing, you're doing something that is big in the advertising agency. What, what happened was, um, when we started out and everything, uh, it was a one-man business. So, we started out in 2016. Uh, WhatsApp status did not come till around that February 2017, thereabouts. Mm. So, for like, from February, from the whole of 2017, it was not monetized. We did not monetize that traffic wow. for like wow. a year. So you can imagine doing something, one man doing something for a whole year wasn't monetized. Hmm. You are just building the audience, building it. One so, year. One year. Wow. So after that time, and now like, and I sat down at one point, okay, I think I should be able to monetize this thing. Let me see if I can charge for it. But okay, how can I make money off this? Mm. Of course, if you are making, if you are having fun on it, uh, doing something, you can also make money off it also. So True. I said, okay, what can I do? And I said, okay, what, uh, how can you make money from WhatsApp? First of all, it's a messenger platform. It's not like uh, YouTube that pays, you know, for views mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Instagram that pays, mm -hmm. you know. So the only way was, I said, okay, was has to be through WhatsApp ads and mm. everything. So I put it out there. Then I said, okay, um, advertising, if you want to advertise with us, please come over. And I can remember our first uh, rate then was uh, 500 naira per day. Hmm. So I said, let me just do it. And I said that price that low because I felt like, okay, at least if nobody comes uh, and it, it won't be too you, expensive. You have, you have big expectations. Yeah, I wasn't having that. big. So if they come, fine. If they don't come, <laughs> fine. I'll just bone it and everything. So the first person came and said, okay, he wants to run. I remember I had to go down to... Where the person was collected the money, put the money in one note, and they posted it. So from there, people oh. started seeing it, and then the advice didn't start coming. So what I was doing was I was going to shops, people that I know around me that have um, advertising things. I said, okay, please give me your post. Let me just post it. Wow. And every, let me just post it. Let me. So but I did that for like a week. I was just posting for people, and they were getting because and the the craziest part is the fact that there was no right on text. Then on WhatsApp, you know WhatsApp, you have this right on text where you can put your link yeah. and everything. So it was just the WhatsApp status. You just post your photo. So you have to put the person's contact in the caption. Now, people are not lazy like now. People were actually copying the numbers out to contact them. So when everybody I was posting for, we say, ah, they was getting conversions and everything. Then they started, people now started posting, okay, how much is your advantage? And this and that. So that was how we now started. So little by little, when we saw that we were, actually like the forefront of this and most people were not doing whatsapp advertising we are not um, enthusiastic about growing because first of all whatsapp is a very harsh platform if you're using it large scale and number yeah. two is you don't know what to expect you can only just be courageous about it so mm. the people were not growing but we were trying to okay let's see how to so we slowly when we now discover that our audience love that twitter content okay we need okay we've solved content creation mm. then so all we needed was to get people that were good at and picking content that would, that is uh, most likely uh, go viral now mm. going viral on whatsapp does not mean like the way it goes viral on twitter it means mm. that people are reposting mm. so it's and it's very easy for you to know when people are when when your stuff goes viral it means that everybody's reposting mm -hmm. it and everything so mm -hmm. we did that so when we solved the issue of content creation then we now started growing our numbers and we started growing the numbers and then we now started um, attaching prizes and mm. people were coming so over time it took us about three four years so we now but people don't realize the fact that we've actually evolved into an advertising agency now but people don't really mm. it's only if you tell you but because it was very <laughs> quiet wasn't no noise and everything was the content was still going out but the back end there was a full low full working structure at the back you know posting adverts there was a, uh, everything so that's how we now like transition quietly into an advertising agency you know, uh, I, I would even want you to continue talking because this session mm -hmm. is a business masterclass on its own. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I am sitting here as a student, okay, who is learning, I, I want to say this, at least from my own, from what I've learned, is that 
you took time to give people value yeah. and you built an audience for one year yeah. without thinking of monetization. Yeah. Yeah. That's the mistake a lot of people make in online business. I don't know if they will hear uh, what you've just said. You need to go back, repeat this session. Like, you need to hear it over again. This part needs to be brought out to you. This is like one of the most striking parts. We've not finished the interview. But this is one of the most striking part for me. Because, see, Victor, today we have yeah. people who come and they want to make money online. Yeah. Uh -huh. And once they start December 2021, mm -hmm. if they're not getting results by March 2022, mm -hmm. the you business is scammed. That's... That's like the, the urge to always like that instant gratification is always Jesus. You have to put time and time. And look at him. Do. You today you're, today I saw one I saw a I saw a Twitter post someday mm -hmm. where we, you were with your mom yeah. in the office. Yeah. Yeah. And that thing caught yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, you showed when okay, you guys now have a car for the advertising agency. Yeah. Bro, people will see the success, and that's why we are hosting shows like this to show people that see. Come and hear from these business leaders. Mm -hmm. They did not just wake up January 1, 2022, and did my new year resolution is to make 10 million. And by mm -hmm. March, mm -hmm. if they've not made 500,000, mm -hmm. the platform is a scam. <laughs> I have online business, we are yeah. lying. Nah, blah, no, blah, 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 blah. No. <laughs> 2000, and I'm going to, I, and I want whoever is going to give me the best comment on this, I'm going to share a prize with you on Daba TV. One year, he had to, and this is a simple business, online business model. Build the audience yeah. first before yeah. you bring the product. Mm -hmm. Because it is the audience and the mm -hmm. community you build that will give you the money you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for one good year, it was busy building for free. And later, had to go off. And the one that touched yeah. me again is you going to close yeah. shops, going to businesses yeah. around you to mm -hmm. tell them, so just give me. And started with the low rate. And today, look at how big it has become. I remember starting my WhatsApp monetization course on Daba okay. for just $10 way back then. Okay. It was just 36 I was like, I taught people for two good days mm. because I, I've been seeing what has been going on on WhatsApp. WhatsApp yeah. is a very innovative very platform. Different. It's, 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 like, it's like saying, P, it's like P2P. It's, yeah. it's like a P2P environment. Exactly. Because exactly. people do a lot of things on WhatsApp. Mm. They, they buy and sell Bitcoin. They do WhatsApp TV. So in my WhatsApp monetization course, yeah. for two good days, I had to just go to one hotel like that, sat down, mm. and everything I used in making money on WhatsApp, I shared it in that, in that course. Mm. And so in the first six months or so, yeah. in 2017, mm. through op using WhatsApp groups, okay, mm. I, I was able to make over $14,000. Mm. And I'm like, okay, let me start sharing this thing with people. Mm. I don't think if any Nigerian has... WhatsApp as a mm. platform, you should be broke because there's a lot of things you can actually yeah, do with WhatsApp. WhatsApp is, is the platform itself is is is. Well, people don't actually see it that way. People mm. see it as okay, chatting. And it doesn't even have to. You don't even have to. It's not. Even, you don't have to do a WhatsApp TV. You can sell your product. Yes. You can. You can do so many things on WhatsApp. Yes. It's, the thing is, the, the the moment WhatsApp introduced that status feature, they they added something that was different. Yes. They made it like. A social media it wasn't a messenger platform again. Again, at that point. I like that. Turned to like a social media platform. I, li I like that. At that particular I, point, yeah. I like that. And one yeah. of the things I'm thinking that Mark Zuckerberg will soon introduce to WhatsApp, which is I think they've been experimenting it, yeah. is the part of ads on stuff. Yeah, in fact, they've been experimenting. Yes. But the issue is the fact that when WhatsApp started out, the initial owners of WhatsApp said, "Okay, people, you don't have to pay for subscription for mm -hmm. of any kind and mm -hmm. everything." So when Facebook bought over. WhatsApp and everything. Mm. They've been looking at it, trying to see how Go they can. The business but people move. have been, in fact, they did that, I think it was 2019. They yes. even tried to start out that people, people revolted and they said, okay, they're not going to do it now. <laughs> but in the future, of the, so basically what they are using WhatsApp to do now is just for data and just compiling users' data mm. to now target, target them back. Ads, on yeah, that's what they basically use it for now. Interesting talk here, yeah, interesting show here. Yeah. Let's dive deep. Let, let, let's, let's do another deep dive. Okay. So, what are the yeah. common challenges a business of yours is, is facing currently? Okay. What are the kind of challenges we see with Paul TV? Mm, currently, uh, business of our own, like uh, niche, what we face basically is the WhatsApp uh, lag. Okay. Yeah, and the um, WhatsApp downtime. Okay. Server downtime. Because, because of the loads of this uh, business that we have, because it's not uh, originally WhatsApp is not uh, built for. 
that large scale of um, business running. So mm. sometimes you get funny, funny things like they have issues mm. and everything. Sometimes mm. when they send us, when WhatsApp uploads this new version mm. and everything, then you use it, you try to integrate it, and then it's capturing your entire system and everything. So it takes, sometimes it takes time for the gadgets you are using to get used to it, mm -hmm. and then you now start. Or you have to like just do so many funny, funny tweaks just to make sure that everything goes on. So most of the time, most WhatsApp TV, most uh, large scale WhatsApp businesses, they are always having that Down issue. There. Yes. Okay, so it's not really peculiar to me and my phone alone because mm. I remember sometime I had to one time delete my WhatsApp. Yeah, that is to exactly. Reinstall it again. Yeah, that is like. And like that. that decision I took is still paining yeah. me because <laughs> when it was when I was trying to get my backup. The back of the it was so slow, uh, so it got to thirty percent. I was like, ah, for how many hours okay. now? Because I, I I have a lot of traffic on my WhatsApp this yeah. and the next thing I said, okay, since it's there, let me yeah, just yeah. stop. See, I I was feeling okay, maybe that thirty percent is my phone lagging. And the next thing I had to stop it, and my WhatsApp came back, but all my WhatsApp pictures, I'm still asking to go. So I don't know, maybe who asked Sports TV CEO how I'm yeah. going to recover those my WhatsApp <laughs> the, uh, pictures again because but, oh. it used to be backed up on the Google mm. Store. Mm. So I, I did the old backup and at 30, I just cancelled. Ah. And so now I have to go check on my WhatsApp document on phone. And you my WhatsApp pictures like they are not there again. They're no longer there. Ah, so I, I, need oh, to, okay. I need to call Mark Zuckerberg, let him help me <laughs> out. And, yeah, because and, it's always like when you have things like that, sometimes it will not even, it won't even show. Sometimes you send messages, like some is even very funny. You send messages and the person on the other hand will not receive It's not message. receiving. And it's not like maybe it's, you know, there's this message that WhatsApp shows waiting for us. Yes. It will not show it. You, that's gone on your end, but yes. it doesn't reflect. So yes. how do you explain to, like, how do you explain to people that this Or even when you upload on your status. Yes, and people. And this is very sending. Sending. I for like wait for one hours. hours. Yes. You know, you have to on the phone again. Switch it up, exactly. switch it on, so, switch it up, and put it, uh, like it you know, one, ah, what is going on, what is going on. So that, that's like the common challenge, challenge that we face. Okay, so absolutely. what is the Pod TV staff strength? Now it's no longer a one man business. You yeah. mentioned people working in the back end, yeah. the back office, even customer um, decks. Mm. Uh, somebody who has to do a quality check on the advert mm. uh, on the advert that yeah. comes out. Yeah. I mean, what's the staff strength now? Currently, now we are about eleven of us. Wow, eleven of us working. Yes. Wow. The structure and everything. Wow. And so, wow. Yeah. Graphics wow. person, customer service, um, advert checks, mm. then customer advert forwarding. We have very, very large. So, though, though it, sometimes it annoys customers because you get multiple people more messaging them. Ah, why is almost four people messaging me over one advert? Uh -huh. What is going Because <laughs> People prefer straightforward. I send the man that you upload. Upload yeah. it and all. But then you get so many more. Please, we like... want we want our Daba TV adverts to be ready to be there this weekend. <laughs> this weekend, no problem. We're having World Creation yeah. Series. Okay, yeah. for those of you who are watching, yeah. World Creation Series is happening this Sunday. Okay, and mm. I will be teaching uh, the other week. I was teaching on um, uh, fifteen reasons why you don't make money online, mm. and this one I'll be sharing uh, twelve reasons why people lose money in crypto so you see the advert on pot tv I've, I've already Definitely. put him now on the spotlight so that <laughs> yeah. they won't tell us because man we need to so they want to advertise on pot tv mm. and the next thing they tell us ah, for three days our ads have been like what is happening but that shows growth mm. that shows structure okay yeah. and the interesting take i'm getting from this uh talk show yes. because he's our business leader of the week you see we are not looking for yellow mugs to bring here, but if you bring yellow mugs here, we're happy. Okay, but uh, bringing someone who, putting someone like this on the spotlight, who started with just using a WhatsApp, this application is underrated. I'm still saying yeah, it. A lot of you underrate WhatsApp. WhatsApp is good for P2P kind of transaction. Some people even prefer that when you want to buy something on Instagram today, and the person yeah. says, okay, use WhatsApp and let's message. Definitely. You now have a close contact relationship. Mm. Customers yeah. want those type of relationships. Exactly. And let me tell you something, the beauty of this. This is a guy who started with just his phone and today has 11 employees, a, car, a company car to add to it, an office in the Southwest. What a gain, what a gain. It means that anybody can build a business on the internet. And you can build it with, it is not until you have the website before you build a business. Mm -hmm. It is not until you have all the traffic before you build a business. Mm -hmm. It is not until you are doing the Google ads before you have a business. 
you can start with your WhatsApp. And that's why, for those of you watching, uh, go to www.daba.school, download the Daba app, get the WhatsApp monetization course. In that course, yeah. I shared all the secrets you want to know about WhatsApp. In short, I was the first guy who said teaching people how to use WhatsApp mm. to make money. I like use WhatsApp group, mm. open them. I didn't even know about WhatsApp TV. All I know is that <laughs> if I have 5,000 people viewing my mm. status, yeah. that's traffic. Yeah, that's so why traffic. should I should monetize it? Mm. There are things you can do with WhatsApp. You can raise funds. Yeah. You can raise charity for WhatsApp. Yeah. There's a guy I saw his tweet one time. He FCC retweeted his thing about him doing water and all that. Yeah. We raised money for the guy. How did I do it? I saw the guy's tweet. I went on my WhatsApp status. Then I, I don't even have, I don't even have more than I was still doing like 500 because me I didn't even people used to message me a lot. Yeah. Like now if you even go to my WhatsApp now, I have backlog of over 3,000 messages. Okay. Add me. I'm yeah. even tired now. So all these years, <laughs> literally people should just go and do everything on party. Me, I'm tired. Because I need, uh, I had to save my name. Sometimes yeah. I'll still look at the people. You know, and it's so funny that yeah. you can be, this business can be, it can be mentally exhausting. Yes, extremely. It can be mentally extremely. Ex Because you think that you've answered someone. Somebody messaged me and said, yeah. uh, Chris, you didn't, I said, I thought I replied to you. Now. No, but the next thing you check the message. You know, this is a different person. This is a different it's person. A lot. It's a you lot. know, it can yeah. be mentally exhausting. So mm. people who come and Chris, add me on WhatsApp and, See, there is traffic you can mute. And when mm. then I went on 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 my WhatsApp status, yeah. I just wrote a short story. That's what I teach in my WhatsApp status. Mm. How you can convert these things to sales. Mm. Okay, I just wrote a short story about the guys. Okay, guys, let's donate. I just put the account number there, and I mm. said, if you donate, just send me a screenshot. Mm. So while I was doing that, I was re reposting those who have. Yeah. And in in less than how many hours, I mean, we raised about three hundred thousand or so for the guy. Okay. There are a lot of things you can do on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Your business, everything you see about data abundance, you start with me using a PDF to open a WhatsApp group. And wow. I start talking, telling people about my products mm. and the services on That's WhatsApp. Right. That's right. So go on Daba, get the WhatsApp monetization course. Mm. It can help you sell. One of my students who does well in the Bitcoin OTC business, okay. he as everybody can be trading Bitcoin. Yes. But the ability to know how to still use that same WhatsApp to attract yeah. clients, and traffic to you, and mm. you still advertise to them to buy Bitcoin yeah. from you, is is another strategy on its own. I don't want to share so much mm. uh, on this show, mm. but just know that you can build a business. If there's anything you've learned on this show, you can start a business small and grow it big. Eleven mm. employees is no joke in Nigeria today, and Victor, that's mm. a big one. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So, how does the Nigerian factor affect your business? Uh, well. It does affect, it will always affect because Nigeria is, is, is a battleground, basically. <laughs> so, currently, now, for I us, like yeah, is, what uh, we go through is the fact that the first thing is, you know, building a business that is 100% remote and online now, mm. there's this stereotype everybody has. Mm. And now you are building a business in a new niche. Mm. You have to explain. So mm. it means that you still have the factor of people who don't understand what mm -hmm. you are doing. Mm -hmm. And once people don't understand what they are doing, they, they, they assume, oh, it's probably, uh, Scum, yeah. it's probably this and that. So it took us donkey years trying to just make sure that people know that this is not scam. That's, mm. that's like even the people factor. Now the environment factor is the fact that WhatsApp itself, uh, the platform where if you decide that you want to run WhatsApp on the commercial scale mm. and everything, you have to have the fastest internet. Sure. You have to, you cannot, you can't, it's not like Instagram that you can have maybe uh, 1 million followers mm. and then you just post have 2G, G, you know, mm. 2G network and just post and you go. No, mm. it will not. Mm. So you have to have the fastest. So what we did was we started experimenting across all networks. Mm. We even, have, if I, we have like a big budget for that, with that network, if it's, if LTEL is not going through, we try this. <laughs> If it's not, then we start going for all these private service providers. We have a lot. We have every government single, come to arrest. See, we have every single of them like uh, wow. on their product. So we set it up, and then sometimes we still try. Okay, fiber optics, every so just to make sure that we have that internet and everything. So that's like one factor. I feel like if we even had like a better, you know, environment, that it would have grown bigger than that and everything. So that Nigerian factor is just a waste. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. If you had WhatsApp in 2016, mm. uh, where do you think your company would have been today? The way it is now. Okay, if we had it then, ah, we can go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the thing about it is the fact that now we have it, we have WhatsApp 
uh, most of the issues that went I went through there, we figured it out. Mm. So imagine starting out where half of or um, almost ninety percent of the problems you go through mm. has already been figured out. You can if imagine mm. uh, uh, that you know you know you can go and meet. That mm. is like one edge that all these um, the new guys coming up have now. Mm. They have people like uh, us. They mm. have those have gone ahead. So what they do is most times you just duplicate what the person uh, has, has for, done. Yeah. So but we now that we are at the front. There's nobody to duplicate. Nobody. There's no. no so we are the one creating the blueprint. So. Imagine we have imagine somebody has done that for us and mm. we just entered in, it will be easy to scale up. But it's a great one that you're the business mm. lead, you're 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 the power you're pioneer of that uh, niche mm. and it's it's, it's 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 been a big one. Yeah. It's been so a much. big one. Yeah. And I wanna ask this. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to people, young people who are starting out today in business? Mm. Okay. Yeah. They want to do online, they're not sure, sure. they they are, some are some are too scared to start. You can see mm. the kind of rage going on on Twitter these days. Yeah, this yeah. business is a scam. Blah blah. Mm. I started. In short, one that pained me was mm. we're making an argument on Facebook one time mm. this week, and somebody was saying uh, I attended the WhatsApp class. The guy mm. scammed me two thousand naira to attend the WhatsApp class, and what he was selling, I, I didn't make money since then. You know, you know the point is the fact that most people here yeah, by the time they start to uh, when you start to when you go for a course mm. and then they feel like what what they are paying for is what they already know yeah. and they start this scam immediately they don't they are not open minded they know like, I like I like to, this I like this to, point this so once true. once they feel like okay I just didn't, or they feel like um, what you've told them mm. they they can also figure it out on their own yes so then they start feeling bad and they try to transfer that rate to the money they paid yes. for it. Whereas they, know, they don't know that, okay, sometimes, yeah, me, my, myself, I buy so many WhatsApp courses. Hmm. Even as I, we are the front leader and everything. Because sometimes you learn, you, there are some new things in the game that you just notice and then it doesn't occur to you. Hmm. Then you see it and say, okay, this is how these boys are doing. Okay, let me also, and hmm. what we, we have is, we have the platform. Mm. They are they are integrating these solutions on a small scale. We have the big scale, mm. so we can also say, oh, okay, let us apply this on a bigger scale and everything. Sometimes you do that so yes. that you don't just lose relevance like yes. that. Yes. So most times people like that, by the time they see they fade and feel like oh, this thing. Someone like me, I can say, oh, I already know everything that exists about WhatsApp and decide not to know. But by the time you start opening some of these courses. True, most of the things that I might know them already, but there are some just tiny, tiny points just yes, that will just give you won. value for the entire money you paid. And you say, okay, how can we push this into forty? That's what I'm always doing. I talk to them. This thing you talk said. To them. Yes. This thing you said. Mm. You see, is is one of the issues we've been addressing. Mm. Buy courses to learn. Exactly. exactly. Not courses to start looking for your ROI. Imagine somebody say, "I bought an affiliate marketing course and they scam me." I said, "They scam me." He said, "I." Uh, I didn't get any. You know, you know, the funniest thing is the fact that I hardly say it. I hardly tell people. When people ask that, okay, where did I get that community building skill from? Mm. And I always tell them that I've been doing affiliate marketing for as far back as 2013, 2014. Look at. And that was, and that came about. There was this time, this time when I was even products. Mm. This sometimes we had platforms like Forever Living mm. was big then. It was yes. really the the popularity was then, and then we had so many service based. Affiliate marketing yes. platform. So then I did all of that. So and then uh, I did not even look at it as oh this thing is negative or it. But what I just noticed was that I learned so many things. Now there's one thing that I learned that I know that that thing stuck even when I started building. That okay, if you want, if you know that online business is a game of numbers. Mm -hmm. If you want one thousand, you chase hundred thousand. Yes. If you want uh, one million people, you chase ten million. Yes. So that was the idea. We brought into business when Portivy started. Hmm. So if I knew that I wanted, uh, if I knew that I wanted ten thousand views, I knew that I have to have at least maybe hundred thousand contacts. Yes. So, but most of them are always, oh, you have one thousand uh, contacts. You want to be having seven hundred views. How is that possible? The the, I, the, the the striking point in is in that is see, every young person listening to this should know this, that there are businesses or there are endeavors you should enter. To mm. get the skill yeah. first. Yeah. Because those skills you get today it's, it's are for the future. Exactly. Not exactly. for the immediate. The problem a lot of people are having on Twitter today, complain about they bought a course and they didn't get to me. This is because number one, they are looking at the short term results. Yes. 2012, mm. 2011, I was receiving Akiela B's email. Mm. I was telling people that 
I was among the first persons. Again, I be sent message. Okay. Okay. Come and become an agent for Naira Bet. Hmm. Then I was in. I, I went from Enugu to Worry. I saw the ad, but I was like, okay. But me, I wasn't. But again, I attended this information marketing seminar. You see me build Daba today. You don't know that I was built yeah, for these things exactly. years ago. Exactly. And people, people keep wondering whether I, I have a personal relationship with that guy. That's it's just the mental. Things we learn over time. That's what I, we used. Exactly. So what we've learned over time mm. have built us ahead of time. Exactly. So you exactly. see somebody who is an undergraduate. You bought a course of 50,000 Naira. And because the course has, you've not made money, you're already turning this yeah. You forget that these things are preparing you for even life after, after school. Exactly. These things are preparing you for some of the things. Some of the big athlete business people online who are making money today, go and check their back. They bought courses upon courses. Upon, upon courses. courses upon and they practice. Look at you now. Yeah. Say, the same GNLD you're even praising, they're saying, what did he th he, he taught you something. He taught you how to go after numbers. Yes. It's the same GNLD and that, that person will go exactly and criticize. And say, yes. And they will leave that. And they leave that. Out. Yeah, exactly. Because and see, that's the basic. life is about perspective. Mm. Okay. Somebody can come to this t studio now and say, ah, uh, these lights are too much. And somebody mm. will come and say, no, the lights are there. They are good. We're using it for this mm. thing. Mm. It's your perspective. What you learn, the b game of business yeah. is a marathon. It's a long game. Yeah, it's not. It's not a short term game. If yeah. you're judging these things on just the short term, you will lose. Yeah. Even yeah. in my own yeah. industry yeah. in crypto, I was discovering that about four four years ago, okay. there was a particular coin called Mana. Okay. And I I just discovered that I've been trading that coin since four years now, mm. and that four years ago, as I four years ago, we did thirty six percent on time, okay. and after that thirty six percent. The cost there going down. It didn't move. move yeah. Okay. Now I'm sure that with a short term mentality, 2018, I'll say, ah, this is dead. Mm. The ROI from that 2018 till today is mm. 30x. So wow. you tell me which investment in your whatever, but that's patience. Mm. So the problem we're having with you, four good years, four years, yeah. four good years. Mm. Imagine me calling it a scam four years ago. Who is foolish today? <laughs> You miss out on it. You yeah. miss out. Mm. Whatever you're learning today is for your future. Whatever you're studying today is for your future. Mm. If you're not getting, stop looking at immediate monetary returns. Mm. If you hear me talk about Daba today, I built what I call LEA before. I used to go from campus to campus, hold okay. short three days leadership boot camp, leadership class, entrepreneurship wow. class. Mm. I've been doing these things there. Mm. And whether I made money from it or not, did not stop me from saying that was a failure. True. It was a learning process. Mm -hmm. And because of these immediate result things we have, mm. a lot of people are now getting frustrated. You're 24, you've not made money online. You're, you're already telling yourself mm. you're, you're depressed yeah. and all that. <laughs> but that's not what you show for. Please yeah. give us more advice. Let but us hear. For me, yeah, I just feel like, I think that concerning my life, basically, it has always been like a game of consistency. Basically, mm. There's, It's not as if some people have the skill or anything, but they just you just understand that okay, uh, what I want I might not get immediately, but if I'm patient enough and concerned enough, I have a good chance of getting it. So, and that's why I always tell uh, even guys that are just entering into our business. I say, look, whatever you see that we do now, understand that it took us six years. You can do it in far less time, mm. but you cannot compare your results mm -hmm. to our results because we, we have seen almost everything. Mm. It took us, you know, what I mean, I mean, imagine doing something for more than almost like that's half a decade. And yes. Everything. Every day, and I'm any business that survives for five years is yeah. solid. So, like every day, apart from downtime, and we've been posting every day, mm. every such that it has become part of people already. Mm. So they always wake up, even if they are subconscious. Now nah, I'm not Sport seeing what people post and everything. So it takes time. True, but if you put in your work and everything, at the end of the day, there's no way. My mom always says that even if you even if you sell pure water for mm. five years, mm. there's no way you would. There's no way. You would make it at that period I want day. True. So that's it for me. True. Let's go on this short break. I'll be right back with some other funny, funny questions for our business leader of the week, Victor. Okay. Welcome back. So this is our bonus question for Victor. And this is like a trivia. This one is straight to the point. And uh, who knows? If he answers well, 
we may decide to invest one billion dollars into Pot <laughs> TV. <laughs> yo, yo, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So bonus question. Okay. They say time is money. Mm. So would you rather live forever and sort life out, or take five billion and just live for sixty years? I take five billion. Five billion and live for sixty years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Number two. What is mm. a very easy way to your heart? Peace. Interesting. If you are the if you are the bay, listen to this very well. <laughs> this, this is expo. They just gave you expo. Um, yeah. If you were a female celebrity, who would you be? We are now. Okay. So, yeah. who is your favorite entrepreneur? Uh, my favorite yeah. entrepreneur. Um, actually, I have a lot of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Only one. Think. Just give one for now. Okay, my favorite person. I have to be the ask Tammy Laurie. Oh, interesting. I, 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 like oh. His, I like his mode of. Tammy Laurie, that's a big shout yeah. out to you. Yeah, Tammy yeah. is a wonderful guy. Yeah, he's, he's a he's wonderful he's guy. And the so, fact that I, we see personally, mm. is, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 and that I see him and then. Uh, see I how he has started. Yeah, how physically, then you see him online. Like, He's a solid guy. Yeah, so He's a solid guy. That's a well. shout out for Tam. Tam, there was no free advert for you. <laughs> so you have to send me money yeah. and pay. I'm not, doing, I'm not going to talk about you on Dabazi before. Please send me my money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what is good enough money for you right now? And what would you do in business if you have access to it? Good enough money for is you right numbers now? numbers now? No, money, money, yes. Ah. What is the good enough money that if, if, if Elon Musk come and pump in your business now, it's good for you? I mean, for me, if I say a billion naira now, I think I'm going to actually... Enter every country in Africa mm. carrying that port to be on my head. Interesting. Yes. Every the integration will be crazy. Mm. We we'll go, we we'll go all out. Sorry. Mm. If we have that, if we have access to that. Everything what we are doing, but we will duplicate it in every country. Every what's country. stopping you from going to different countries? We are trying to grow now. Mm. That is, and currently now for port TV, we have um, when we started out, I like this that with this the content, and the, we are building for Nigeria. Mm. When we started out, but now that we built for Nigeria, we now became the biggest in Africa. Mm. Now. So currently now we have to sit down and then build because, for Africa. Now. Yeah. Then yeah. probably now build for the world. But currently now, part of it, we are built, we built it for Nigeria. So we are trying to shift. Mm. So once we have done that shift, then we would pump in money into promotions and just that is, There's been an exciting time with talking. So this one you just said now is something we are going to discuss in back office. Let me become a shareholder <laughs> and put <put-put-put-put-put-put-> <laughs> money. I want money. <laughs> Man, it's been yeah. a wonderful time talking mm. with Victor. Victor, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. On thank the show. you so really much happy. for coming on Daba TV. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the big, big stuff Pot TV is coming up with. Yeah. Yeah. Are you there watching? Remember to share this video, use the like button, like this video, subscribe. Nigerians, Africans, the world, everybody, everybody subscribe. Yeah. Okay, mm. share this video with your friends. How Mr. Victor has built a multi million naira. In short, I know that soon, uh, when I will bring him back again for this type of interview, mm. we'll be talking about how he has built a multi billion naira yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're yeah. just using WhatsApp. Mm. And people have done a lot on WhatsApp. Yeah. You can make money using your WhatsApp. You can cause influence. You can build a company mm. using your WhatsApp. From mm. just a one man business mm. yeah. with one tool. He has been able to build a multi-millionaire advertising agency mm -hmm. using WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. You don't want another person to not miss. You don't want you don't want somebody else to just miss this kind of story. Mm -hmm. Go back, share this video, like it, and tell me all the stuff you've learned in the comment section. Mm -hmm. So I like, come your way next time. Remember to World World Creation Series this Sunday. It's gonna be bomb, like bomb, bomb, bomb. Mm -hmm. Invite your friends and God. Bless you. Do have a lovely week. Thank you.